kick the three two and he chases that one and now one away and next for the Red Sox Taylor Ward Swings through that one. Oh, and one. That's the third. LeMahieu gets it to first. Two up, two down. Aloy Jimenez now. First offering misses the mark. The 1 0. Yeah, there's the strike. It's a good change up to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Here at Fenway, Bellinger up to hit. Leading off the lane. The right fielder, Cody Bellinger. The wine and the pitch. Strike one. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. The pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Next pitch is outside. And the right hander deals. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. And now it's Brandon Lau. He has. As they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And Thunder in that bat. Pulls that one foul. Top of the third, no score. comes a pinch the punch out there that's his second strikeout here's Wander Franco over one so far have to say he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years well no question about it his future is very bright the city the organization both are excited about him he has a lot to look forward to and he'll won. That's through there for a strike. And he deals. And there's a foul ball. Deal two. That misses off the outside edge. Wind of the pitch. And now two and two. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. On the ground. A dive. Nice stop. Throw to first. And that'll do it. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the speedy catcher, MJ Melendez. Scherzer back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. Now fly ball to right center. Birdie on his way over. And there's one down.
Bull Bichette up to the dish. Not shortstop. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 oh, 2 now. The 0 oh, 2. Stays alive. Next offering in the dirt. Now one and two. Oh, this guy's going to have to slow things down. There's no reason for him to even check swing on that pitch. Was never even close. Got him. Two away. Two outs. Bases empty. Gavin Lux up next for the Red Sox. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the one over. Now wanted one. The pitch. And that one ripped into right. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Around second now, going for three. Wow, relay to third. Miles Straw up next for the Red Sox. Went down on strikes his first time through. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. At the belt, the final. Strike two. Scherzer, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Back here in Boston, now it's going to be Salvador Perez. The catcher, number 13. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And a pitch. That one drifts inside. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Pavetta settles under this one. And out number one on the ground. And now it's Joey Gallo. He is very much a typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we see more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. And looks like he wants the signs again as he steps off the rubber. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. And the 0 oh 1. Foul ball. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. That's the second out. Two outs. Base is empty. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMay here. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Next pitch misses outside. And it's a ball and a strike. Two outs. And a count one and two. And down on strikes. And that is that.
Back inside Fenway Park. Bottom four. Now the number two hitter, Sandy Bogarts. The second baseman. The wine of the pitch. Bogarts. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. High in the air, out to right. Bellinger, sizing this one up, takes it in for the out. Here's Rafael Devers. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. First offering, and it just misses. Left-hand batter waits. So two balls and no strikes. Two and one now, Scherzer deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. One down, base is empty. Knocks it down. Here's the tag, and he's out. Here's Austin Riley. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Kicks and deals. And another ball. And there's a ball. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And a 3 1 on the one. Swings and fouls one off. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth. And here's the first baseman, Joey Votto. Number 19. Joey Votto. The pitch. There's the strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Got him. And a quick out number one. Abraham Toro will hit next. Abraham. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. <laughs> oh, and two now. Right through there, got it. Down on strikes. And he knew it. And stepping in for the Rays, John Birdie caught looking his first time up. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And the pitch. Strike two. All right, there's number eight, one away. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Catcher has it, fires the first. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Taylor Wolf. Leading off for the Red Sox. The right fielder. The line and the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Ooh, by him. You gotta remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Hold in one now. There's the swing and a miss. 
Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Back to the bow. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count. Up against it with two strikes right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. Now the catcher up to hit. M.J. Melendez. Over one. He was robbed of a hit on a diving catch his first time up. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Ward over at first with one away. Next offering is down low. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. Inside and it hit him. He had two strikes on him. And he hit him. Fastball right there. Smoked him in the no, leg. No, no, no. At least it's in the leg and not in the wrist or the hand. But it still hurts, man. <laughs> you know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. The next pitch misses. One and one. A laser to left base hit. Coming home. And it bangs off the wall. Run scores easily, and it's one nothing. Safely into second, he's got a double. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Birdie in position, makes the catch. Runners tagging from second and third. He'll score the sack fly. It's 2 nothing. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Miles Straw stands in with two away as he takes a ball. The 1 0. Out towards right center field. Bellinger makes his way towards it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. Back now at Fenway. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the right fielder, Cody Bellinger. The pitch. Just missed. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, just Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Bangs off the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Lau at the plate. And that one wrapped foul. The next offering misses. And the count even one and one. And the pitch. No outs. Runner on second. Swings and misses. It's two and two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one. Dives back, he's out.
on the ground right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the back for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Hard hit right side. And that one finds its way through. And that keeps the inning alive. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over. Next to hit, Salvador Perez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Righty delivers. And now the count is even. Liner counted second. Back here at Fenway Park, bottom of the six. Still stepping in for Boston. Franco handles the chance. Bogarts retired. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that slide and catch in the corner by Tom Bernanski. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Riley at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. And it's one and one. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Back here in Boston, top of inning number seven. Now up for Tampa Bay, Joey Gallo. The left fielder, Joey Gallo. Here comes a pitch. That clips the corner. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Next offering is foul back. Here's the 0-2. Chases that one out of the zone. And there's one down. Now it's LeMay up to hit. And a foul ball. Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. Next offering is downstairs. Next offering is foul back.
Next one in the dirt. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Puts it away for the out. Joey Votto now at the plate. Number 19, Joey Votto. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch is downstairs. And a 1 1. Swings through that one. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Next pitch misses inside, and it's two and two. And that's downstairs and outside. And the righty deals. And there's ball four. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. Well, he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Abraham Toro next to hit for the Rays. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next one is off the plate. And yeah, that's ball two. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. And, and the dirt, but kept close. Well done behind the dish. The tying run at the plate. And the tying run is on base. Not nah, what he wanted to do there, Boo. He keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, John Birdie. That time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. And now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos. And he'll do... at the initial offering. Right-handed reliever. On the ground to Devers. Boots it. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. Welcome back, bottom of the seventh. And stepping in for Boston, Taylor Wolf. The right fielder, Taylor. Oh. You're a please. Number seven. And a pitch. The bit behind with that swing, it's strike one. Sometimes a hitter will go up there and guess, and it's not just pulling something out of the sky, but expecting because of tendencies a certain pitch in a certain location, he just guessed wrong. Now this is in the air down the line. And it's caught for the out. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Now that the Jimenez. And first offering is fouled off. To third. And they take care of Jimenez for the out. 
Two outs, base is empty. MJ Melendez up next for the Red Sox. In the air, left field. Gallo makes the catch, and that'll do it. Ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the. Right fielder, Cody Bellinger. The right fielder, Cody Bellinger. And here it comes. Gets the bunt down the right side. Not in time. That's a bunt single. Well, that may end up being an at bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Just a little roller to the pull side, definitely out in front of the pitch away, but it wasn't one the defense could make a play on. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. The pitch. Now oh, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. And it's just foul. That was close. Left hand hitter waits. And it's fouled away. Bellinger on at first. Nobody out. Next one just misses. And it's two and two. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. <laughs> Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Wander Franco, one for three. Uh, uh, the pitch signaled now, and a balk is being called. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. It's even up. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two now. Lifted in the air, right field. Out number two. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. And we're back here at Fenway Park, bottom of the eighth, leading off Bo Bichette. For the Red Sox, the shortstop. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. And now it's Gavin Lux. Good contact guy. Good defender. And first offering is fouled off. Up the middle. Fires the first on the run. And a couple of quick outs. So the batting order turns over. Here's the speed threat. Miles Straw. And that's in there for strike one.
The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Here's a 1 1. And a foul ball left side. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now the catcher for the Rays, Salvador Perez. The catcher, number 13. Now it's Jordan Romano out of the bullpen, trying to protect this lead. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. And maybe you get two or three. And now the count is even. <sighs> Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. Foul ball, he stays alive. And yeah, the right hander deals. Hard hit left side. Into the outfield base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Up next for Tampa. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Nobody out. Runner at first. Squirts away a little bit. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Left-hand batter waits. Off the mark there. And it's two and one. Right-hander kicks deals. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's one away. Now and now it's Those DJ LeMayhew digging in. First pitch just misses. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside. Yeah. Tying run at the plate. What up? That one pushed foul. Did you send an MI virus? All right. Big Hurt doesn't pull diamonds. <laughs> Kane's phone's lies. Lies, all lies. That one 
comes in there on one. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on. Um, so join that invite and it didn't take me in there. So if you want to send me another one, I don't know. And the runner stays where he is. I just got another one though. Too many diamonds over here, bro. <laughs> yeah, I got um, it up in the air in a second. Fucking. Just one out away, trying to close it out. Swing it a drive. This one, way back there. Going. That one is gone. We are tied. Joey Votto pops one out of here. And we're level. It's 2 nothing. Mm -hmm. Abraham Toro. Next that one did not race. work either. Weird. First pitch, not close. A dashboard real quick. I tried I tried joining the two invites I got from Virus and it doesn't it just like says it's loading and then it takes me back to like the like shell screen or whatever it doesn't put me in the lot in the locker room. Not yet. Oh, I just got it. Loading. Let's see if it puts me in. Warren back to work. Swings and misses. It's old one. And the pitch. Have they announced the cover athlete for NHL 23 yet? Collects it. Fires across the diamond. Bogart's retired. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out front. Rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Uh, nope. Just took me back to that. Devers swings through it for strike one. Well, hitter looked pretty comfortable on that swing. Pitchers don't like to see that. See how he changes it up on this next pitch. Kicks and fires. Late with the swing there. Like I join and it says loading from like the main screen or the chill screen. And then it like says it's loading, and then when the bar at the bottom like finishes, usually it like takes me into the, like the locker room and shows you guys. It's taking me back to the chill screen and not putting me in the game. Go to my rosters and do what? So the only thing I can think of is trying hard reset, like my shit. Stays alive. See how the catcher uh, 
Um, so when you said like my rosters, like I just go to the like like updated rosters, or where am I going for this? I'm trying to find. Like lo I'm just like loaded or what? I was just playing NHL earlier today, like fucking around on it, so I don't know why. Like, I wasn't playing, like, club or whatever. I was just doing, like, the drop and shit. So. Alright, it says it's loading, so we'll see. Like I said, I was just playing the fucking watch my call the drop in. Yeah, it didn't take me back in again. So I'm gonna try and dashboard real fast. That's the last thing I can do. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's fucking um my like what was that uh what you call it the tuner settings or whatever it's fucking called. Oh. You messaged me and I was like, my son, like about 15 minutes before that, had just woken up. So I gave him a bottle and changed him and um, was putting him back down to bed. And he was like fighting it hardcore. But, but we had a pretty long weekend, so I was not really surprised because he's. Canes in light here. I'll be in here in a second and try this.
Is that, uh, is that other dude coming back? Am I, am I playing? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm playing. I just, I just gotta get in. But I was gonna say, if, if he's gone, I was gonna fucking like hard reset the shit real fast just to give that a try. I mean, I didn't try and join Kane's invite yet, so that's why I was just trying to figure that out. I just don't want you guys waiting on me. <laughs> so you just need me right now? I'm loading back up. I hard, I fucking dashboarded. That's why I was asking you guys. I'm almost back on right now. There's Johnny. Where's? Why isn't Cam on? Me? Well, I'm loading in right now. Just clicked on the invite. It says loading. It's like 40%, 50%. Well, I do. If you guys got, if you got, a, if you got a full squad, I mean, fuck. I was. Uh, it said room. Room is full. This is crazy. Uh, <laughs> oh, so. I've never tried so hard to play a fucking hockey game. This is crazy. Usually I'm just like in like fucking somewhere. Holy fucking potatoes. I don't know what the fuck's going on, dude. It just took me back to the chill screen again. Oh my god. Like, I don't even know what to do. What do I, how do I fix this? Like, uninstall the game, reinstall it? <laughs> I 
Virus, you should know these things. Like delete it, delete it for good, or delete it and reinstall. <laughs> So like when you load in and you go to like Chell, right? And it shows like your like your Chell jerseys and shit, but you're like just sitting in there and it says like um I fucking log or about that, but it's like your Chell screen and it's like sixes or three. But when you're there, um you have like your drop ins and all of that and it gives you that that option. To, to do drop in or fucking club. It takes me back to that screen. And just shows my my team that I'm like the club that I'm in, it shows me in my jersey. With my dude just skating on the on the ice. Not like skating, but he's just like standing there. So like I'm on like I'm online, like I'm on EA like like, I'm on EA's fucking server, but I'm not, like... Just not putting me in your lobby. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna do a drop in real fast and see if it fucking puts me. I'll try that and see if that fucking works. Like I said, I was playing drop in earlier. Just buy on the saw it. It'll take a fucking 45 minutes. Take 45 minutes or an hour to fucking reinstall the game, so I'm trying to avoid that. Because even if you got, even if you guys got one game in and then a spot opens, I can jump in. I just. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Yo, my uh, father-in-law, you guys would be fucking jealous of shit. My father-in-law fucking, there was a, <clears throat> like a commemorative bottle of vodka from New Amsterdam vodka. Um, they have like a, uh, a commemorative bottle from the Avs winning the uh, Stanley Cup. And it's got, like, the abs, and it says, like, find a way, because that was their slogan. And it's got, like, the abs, and it's got a goalie helmet on it, and it's, like, all fucking... It's got, like, an avalanche mountain behind it. It's sick as fuck. My uh, father-in-law lives in Denver, and um, he's a huge Broncos and, like, abs fan and shit. And uh, so we were... I was, like, talking to him... Like, while the Avs were in the fucking cup. And he was like, yeah, it's pretty crazy here. Like, what not. Well, they won. And he got two bottles of it. And he fucking kept one. And my wife's sister just went out to visit. And he sent one of them home with her for me. So I got a fucking bot today. She stopped by. And she's like, gave it to me. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Well, good news is I'm able to get in the drop-in. <laughs> but bad news.
news is, is that's kind of fucking frustrating.